I'm going to show how to create search functionality in IBM BPM table. So let's start with creating a new CSS search demo in table. Click on finish. It is created. Let's go to the coach. Click on OK. We will drag and drop section. So let's drag and drop it here. And we will create one variable search query. Let's drag and drop it here. So just make it responsive. Here we will drag and drop one button and in the configuration we are going to select it as horizontal in the general add the label add the label here also name this button as search now we will create one variable my table make it as list I'm going to take this view. So this view is having four values: city name, population, municipality, and mayor. So I will hard code these values. Just drag and drop one. Initialization script. I will connect it. Like this and now I will hard code some values for this table and I will drag and drop this table from here like this okay so now this table is actually not responsive so we are going to select the view for its responsiveness. I will do it quickly. Let's make the visibility as read only okay now I will save it let's run it quickly okay so the hard coded values are coming now we are going to make the search functionality here so let's drag and drop one script here I will name it as search script. Connect the button. Let's start writing the code. Okay. So I will write one function search in row. I will pass two values query and row. Let's write a loop for for records in row if query So 
so we are not going to search exactly equals to we are going to search uh, if the string even matches so we will use the function index of so we will use it like pro record if row record dot index of query not equals to minus one then return true if it does not returns then return false now we will write the main code for <coughs> rows in ew dot local dot my table then we will check if search in row so query will be w dot local dot search query comma and our row will be this my table within the bracket rows exactly equals to false then we are going to remove this from our table if the item which we are searching it is not found then we are going to return this false and we will remove that from our variable so that is this my table and the row number will be here okay dot splice we will pass the row number and one row we are going to remove okay so we will just try to run it first let's see if it works so i will search del e okay so it is showing only one city So let's see if Delhi is in other records also. Okay, it is in one record and it is removing all the records except one. So I think our code is not working. So in order to make it work, let's change a little bit of our approach. we are going to uh, store rows rows to be removed okay so let's initialize this array let len equals to dot length and in the length we are going to pass rows so it is going to store the rows this variable will hold the values of the rows which are to be removed And at last, 
will create one more for loop. For that i equals to zero, i less than rows to be removed. Dot length i plus plus. And dot my table. Dot lies here. I will pass row of I comma one. Let's see if that works. is not working let's console it here We are initializing it here. Remove this for loop and write else condition here. Okay. Remove this instead, keep it here. True, and if it is true, then we are going to put values of that table in here. Table dot length. Now temp table length equals to first of all we will initialize it then temp table len equals to this object okay and at last we will do dot local dot my table equals to initialize it again and we will put the refreshed values of this table. Let's try it again if it works. Okay, so now the code is working. And if we again search something like this, then it will be empty because it is searching from the output which was showing here. To overcome that, we can use uh, many approaches like 
uh, we can create another temporary variable in which we can store the exact values otherwise in here what we can do we can just simply uh, put a button like keep a button here okay now we will rename this button as reset and we can connect this reset button here now we will run it again so suppose that this time we are going to search Delhi so it is coming if we again search tokyo it is not going to come so we are we have to reset it so the values came now we can search it again like this so that's all for this video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe